everybody. Chag Urim Sameach, one last time, and Shabbat Shalom. I'm doing the taping of this on the last night of Hanukkah. You can see the Hanukkah uh, behind me. Hanukkah, like so many Jewish observances and celebrations and holidays, amaze me for a number of different reasons. One obviously has to do with how rooted we are in a tradition and in a history, but the other is how these holidays continue to be given new meaning and felt in different ways during different times and in different places for all sorts of reasons that have to do with Jewish life and have to do with the context of the culture in which we find ourselves. There are a couple of things that took place this week on Hanukkah. One is that I understand that uh, Pfizer and some of the people who were uh, working with the um, vaccinations discovered that in fact, rather than each file having four vaccinations, it's possible that there are six, which means 50% more. That means millions of people more will be able to be vaccinated. And in a funny way, I thought about it in terms of the oil that, you know, we thought there was enough oil for just a short uh, one night stand, but it lasted for eight nights. And so this is kind of like a, a little medical miracle. It's not a miracle, it was a miscalculation, but if it works to save millions of lives, we'll take it as such. The other story, and I wrote about it, is about a guy named Albert Bora. Albert Bora is the CEO of Pfizer. And on the 16th of December, he was invited by the Israeli um, embassy in Washington, D.C. to light the Hanukkah. What's amazing about the story of Albert Bora is the following. We know what Pfizer has done. Albert Bora is the child of uh, Holocaust survivors. They were from Greece. He's a Greek Jew. And it's amazing to think of the man that's in this position as CEO of Pfizer, uh, lighting the Hanukkah in the Israeli embassy on this year, Hanukkah in 2020, 5781. A man of Greek descent and a Jew, a child of Holocaust survivor, survivors, and somebody who has done extraordinary work in his lifetime. It speaks to our resilience, and Hanukkah is about our resilience. It speaks to lighting lights and it speaks to hope. And Hanukkah is about that also. So the news of the vaccination comes and brings us a great deal of hope. I know that I will get it as soon as I'm able to. And I hope every one of you will also as soon as you're able to. And I hope that we're able to keep these lights burning, the lights of, of Jewish life, the lights of the Jewish spirit, the lights of Jewish ingenuity and resilience and our capacity to bring the light and bring our great contributions to the bigger world in which we find ourselves. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Urim Sameach.